Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today, we are running right on time. We are not gonna be late. Yeah, no, we're not. We're gonna be late. Due to mom. Yeah, due to mom. Due to mom who said, uh, brush your hair, brush your hair. The rule is you're not allowed to come downstairs unless your hair is brushed. And then, three seconds before we have to leave, they still don't even have their hair done. I did my hair. Okay, problem is my kids brush their hair with this soft, my kids hate having their hair brushed, so they brush their hair with you this. You said that you used that when you were here. Yeah, but I also made sure all the knots were out. Anyway, on with the video. Um, Gabby, what are you watching on Instagram? She is watching Day by Day Vlogs Fam. Is that your favorite intro, or is that your favorite edit? Not my favorite, but she likes that one a lot. Um, it's 11.59. We ride in an hour. Um, it takes us a half an hour to get there. I have to wait for my car to warm up. I have to eat something because I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm kind of grouchy. <laughs> he needs some. He's screamed at him. Yeah, I was like, get your hair done! <laughs> terrible. It's terrible. I do not believe in screaming at kids. But it happens every single day. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh. At least we can laugh about it after. No. Mm -hmm. So I have this trigger when uh, we need to be someplace and it's time to go. And my kids aren't ready to go when I tell them a million times to do all these things. That's my trigger. That that gets me every single time. But All right. We're not perfect. Okay. I'm not perfect. At least we can laugh about it. Are you no. laughing yet? No. <laughs> Are you laughing yet? No. Um, so guys... Do you just hate when it's like when your dad hides like awesome food and treats and stuff in like the pantry? Because we found Kit Kat. I'm so mad at that and he ate the rest. Yeah. Sam and I were out yesterday, wow. last night, and the girls found Kit Kat in the cupboard and then we we went to find them you today. On this? Yeah, no, they're gone. Like I think Dad took them. Mm -hmm. They were all melted into a ball, and we only had like half of one tiny stick of pick. Not pick. even a half. Yeah, and Dad has a thing with chocolate. He cannot resist. All right, let's go. Let's go to the barn and cheer ourselves up. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. So tall, and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. We have a fancy brow band from Beads for Steeds, and I love it. And I've been looking everywhere. Up here, you guys see it? I don't know where it is. I know we have it, and I want to put it on Storm, but I can't find it. So it's going to have to wait till we move. But it's so nice, you guys. I want to show you. Do not know where it is. Um... Yeah, there is a lot of junk in this locker. All I want to find is a, a helmet. So, remember last week when he cut his eye, that's all healed up and now it had a scab on it and now the scab's peeling off, but now there's this. Like, I don't know what the heck you're doing out there, Storm. He's looking so ragged too. Like, I don't not like you fighting. 
Stormy, wearing an ear bonnet. Storm, you're wearing an ear bonnet. It's all about the matchy match, Storm, not about your comfort. But basically, Storm. Uh, Since we're not jumping on, in December, I'm going to train him with an ear bonnet. Yeah, so he hates ear bonnets and he always gives Gabby attitude. But to get them used to ear bonnets. Can you try? To get them used to ear bonnets, you just use it more so that they get used to it. But look. Oh no. But I think he gets hurt by the trees, to be honest. Come on, let's go. I need you to find me my white ear bonnet. Sophie wants her white ear bonnet. But oh, look at this. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? So nice. I want to bring it home and put it on Storm's thing, but I love it. Like, I think of, oh, so pretty. I love it. This used to be Sabrina's, but now Storm's going to use it. Um, this is from Home Handmade from Beads for Steeds, and you can find them on Facebook, and I'm excited. You guys, look at all these pony saddle pads we have. We have four pony saddle pads. Four. Like, don't you think that means we need a, a pony? Oh my gosh. This is the color scheme I would love for our new barn. This bright pink and that bright blue. It looks yeah, really I'm good together. Blue. Yeah, Gabby doesn't want blue. She wants red. Yeah. Oh, Storm. Does it look puffy? No, it's, it's No. Fine. Yeah. Oh. Him standing up. Oh, are you about it? Storm's poor cut. What are you Hurry doing? up, keep going. This is gonna look ridiculous. <laughs> so I put the GoPro on Gabby's thing and I don't know how to attach it, so that's no, what you get. No, because we're out of the sticky thing. Yeah. No. Careful, don't hang it upside down. Did you see what it looks like? Careful. Poor Storm. <laughs> he already looks mad. He already had his ears back before you turned the, 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 <laughs> the camera on. Yeah. All these things. Oh. Before these went on, he already had his ears back. <laughs> yeah, he's like, not that again. He just extended oh. <laughs> He's telling you what he thinks. I just found out I'm riding first. I hate going first. Like, I like it better when Gabby rides Stella and gets her all used to me, but I just have to keep reminding myself that I can totally hack it. I can, I, I can do Stella. Like, I don't need help. I don't need any of that stuff. So yeah, I gotta hurry up and get my boots on. I always change my coat too, to like a thinner one.
Stay. Stay on the wall, and now he's big and strong. Full heart. Go back to the wall. All right, full heart. Do not be next for a minute. Who spooked the horse? Who spooked the horse? 
Oh no, um, that was mom. Nobody spoke the word. She just fell off. She just fell off. She asked her to go into a canner, and she went into the canner, and when she went into the canner, she bumped, and she bumped twice, and the horse went out from underneath her. Yeah, but not and then as they fast got, as Then they did a circle, and then they finished the circle on this wall with Laura flying through the air with the greatest of ease. <laughs> and then it was, oh, 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 I broke it. There they go. <clears throat> This is where we are. We're at emergency. Are you ready to go find your mom? Something's in her find coat. Find your mom? Something's in her coat. Gloves. It's horse Gloves. treats. Gloves or horse treats? Oh, carrots. It's like socks and Gabby, it's carrots. Let's go find your mom. <laughs> so we're stuck in the yeah, emergency like waiting to find out where your mom Ball. is, right? You got her coat, you got her shoes. Got her boots, got her coat. Fiona and Sophia. This is what it's like at the hospital. We're waiting to get in to see what happened to Laura. Bringing her phones. No Wi Fi. That sucks. No Wi Fi. Why don't they have Wi Fi at the hospital? This girl didn't bring a phone. She used my phone. Laura brought, Gabby brought her phone. I'm smart. Hey, my phone. Are you smart? Spell it. Are you smart? Smell it. Spell it. He doesn't know how to do school. Are you smart? Yeah. Spell it. I T. No, I told you to spell smart. S M A R T. S M A R T. She was in the room at the end of the hall too. Okay, thanks. We're here. Where is it? How's it going? Really bad. Are they? Did you break I anything? Think, I think so. Have you guys been hearing me screaming? No. I'm really cool. I'm in shock a little. <clears throat> like really cool. <laughs> Do you want to see you falling off? I caught the whole thing. It's really bad. Like I'm, I'm in really bad pain. They're gonna give me an X-ray, but. So in the ambulance, they gave me some drugs in it, and it, it didn't take the pain away, but it took the edge off really good. And then they gave me something different now, and it's not taking the pain away at all. So I, I think I broke my pelvis and maybe my hip. That means you can't walk. I know you guys have to take care of me. No, nope. <laughs> no school though. Lots of school, no barn. Lots of school, no barn. Oh, we're having some supper while Laura gets an x ray done. Yeah. What do you think? What's the spirit? You think something's broken? Yeah. Probably. Probably. Which means no more barn for the next two weeks. No, Kaylee. Three months. Kaylee will Three bring months us. And no and barn. We will Imagine bring if your mom had to stay. Know. Imagine if your mom had to stay here all Christmas. It would be horrible. We have to bring all the presents here and open. <laughs> We'd have to bring the whole family here. Yeah, we would, wouldn't we? Oh, oh. Hey guys, I have a question. I was trying to get in back in because we had some dinner and they said, what number are you at? And I said, blue one. There's no blue one. There's a yellow and there's a green. And there's a what other color? What other color, orange? Red. A red, a yellow, and a green. And I said, nope, blue one, I'm pretty sure. They're like, there's no blue one. I'm like, yeah, there is. And they're like, well, we'll let you in, but because I trust you, but there's no blue one. And there is a blue one. We're in the blue one room. Aren't no, we? it's trauma one. It's trauma one. But the sign is blue. So they obviously don't know what they're talking about. And we're just waiting for Laura. There's She's wifi. still not back from the x ray. There's Wi Fi here. No, oh, yeah. It's free. It's free Wi Fi. We can watch YouTube. We can do a live stream. Who wants to do a live stream? No. On on Instagram. Not me. Okay. Hi guys. It's a few hours later. 
um i just feel like crying i don't even know like so, so this thing over here is um giving me some pain medication for like the first three hours after i fell um i don't even know why i just want to cry now maybe it's the meds anyways the first three hours i was on my side like i couldn't i couldn't move from my side it felt like all from it felt like my groin was not attached to my legs anymore so i couldn't really move it and the pain was excruciating and then God, it's like so dramatic so then i was on my side hi sorry nice so the paramedics just came in to check on me they're so so nice like the paramedics are amazing they like did so much for me anyways when we got here the pain was so bad and she couldn't give me any more medication so she told like seven people like you need to take care of her right now and and they did they like i yeah anyway oh like i'm just super emotional because i fell off of a moving horse and it had excruciating funny. pain for hours and when i watch the girls fall or i even think about all the times that they've fallen i always feel sick to my stomach still i kind of feel like that about this too but i do i i watch the footage and i just kind of look like a sack of potatoes rolling off our rolling off the horse like <gasps> i was well, actually fiona, shocked that it hurt Mom, me fiona said she just flew through the air with ease oh did she that's nice no like yeah, I feel like I just rolled to the ground. But anyway, I don't know. I um, We're waiting to hear. I, like I said, I feel so much better because the pain is under control and I'm off my side. So hopefully I'll be walking out of here. I'm praying. Okay, it's been a couple hours later. The doctor did come in and yeah. tell me that nothing looked broken, and but that I had some rotation in my hips or my pelvis um so he needed to redo the x-rays he needed to see some other different spots so they came they took me to do that the pain medication that they gave me really worked oh, they set you up more. and yeah and because i was able to roll over onto my back like it was excruciating getting to my back but once i got to my back like the pain level is like a, a two now as long as i don't move as long as if i move my legs then it's bad so this is the scary part i haven't told my family yet but when i went back to x-ray the lady said did they tell you what was wrong and i said yeah the doctor told me nothing was broken and her jaw hit the floor and she said they told you nothing was broken and i was like oh god yes and i said what's really wrong and she said that she's not allowed to tell me um basically she said the radiology report is there and if they told me that nothing was broken it was wrong and then later I asked her, is it my hip or is it my pelvis? And she said, it's your pelvis. So I think I have a broken pelvis. So then I asked her, do you think I'll be staying? And she said, you'll be staying, like you have to stay. I'm not eating anything in case it means that I have to have surgery because I know that that does happen sometimes, but I hardly have any pain as long as I don't move. like. I don't have that much pain. Oh, yeah, which is going to be a problem when you're in But I don't know. Again. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I haven't really heard from the doctor. She said that maybe what happened was that he looked at the x-rays before the report was back, and that's why he made a mistake. But I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see. Like, we're going to have to see what happened. Maybe Sam said maybe he was looking at somebody else's. But yeah, could you believe I would break my pelvis? Like, over not that bad of a spot. Yeah, it looked like I just rolled down to the ground, but it yeah, was excruciating, it was. man. Like screaming, I screamed for three hours straight. I broke my pelvis. I broke my pelvis. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what the next step is, but it, he doesn't think it needs to be operated on. But he's gonna obviously have to talk with a specialist. Yeah, let me see it. You so guys, your those are my favorite breeches. Let me see them. I want to take a picture of them. These are my favorite breeches. Rest in peace, <laughs> carrots. Rest in pieces. Rest, Rest in, pieces. in pieces. So, one thing you guys don't know about me, Sam and the girls have gone home uh, to get some stuff, but one thing you guys don't know about me is that I never take medication because it makes me feel sick. Like, it, the, the medication is always worse than the issue I'm taking the medication for. So they're giving me a bunch of meds right now and 
it's actually making me feel so nauseous and so sick and I haven't eaten since like 11 o'clock maybe and it was not I haven't even eaten a meal today so I just feel sick and nauseous and they're gonna make me walk and I'm in a lot of pain I just want to roll over and crawl away from my body that's what it feels like but to look at the positive my boys rallied around me and messaged me as soon as they heard and Nick is coming to spend time with me and it's all gonna come together the way that it's supposed to and God has a plan and I don't know what it is right now but I know I'm gonna learn from this situation and I don't know what's gonna happen moving forward my head is dancing like the purple haze I don't know where we're going but the clues that you are throwing are leading me Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.